I go see it. Oh, we almost so had awesome. it, but you were talking. <laughs> see if you can call. Do a loud one, a big, huge one. Good job. Okay, you're really good at that. That was really good. Hunting in my life was always, it was everything to me. Like that was always what came first and all my decision making was always hunting. My relationship with my dad is completely predicated on hunting together. Growing up and maturing and, and starting a family of my own or thinking about starting a family of my own, hunting, it was a non-starter, like it was going to be what my family did. I, I wanted to make it a part of my family's life earlier than what it was for me. And I finally had the opportunity to do that. Hey, 70 yards. Let's go. Not bad, huh? I mean, you crushed it. That's a hard shot. Yeah. Now when I'm up there and I see the big elk and I'm like... <laughs> She's brand new to hunting and she loves it. This was my first archery hunt, but before this hunt, Lorenzo and I, we would take our forerunner out and we would stay, it was like camping, but hunting. And so it was just always very fun. Lorenzo's idea for this hunt was just to be all together, basically. It was kind of like us stepping out of that cave that we built around us with like what the expectation was gonna be with Turtle. So when we were in the hospital, we would always talk about like, we can't wait to get out of here. Like we're gonna take Turtle hunting and we're gonna show him everything that we love. Um, um. He landed it. Good job. My son's real name is Lorenzo Jr. He definitely goes by Turtle. It's because basically he's a legend, especially in the hospital world, unfortunately, and fortunately. Um, he is a fighter. He uh, is a miracle. A lot of people had a ton of doubt in him. He's here for a reason and for a purpose, and I think he is very, very special. Look at nice. Good job. You saw him? Yeah. Was it a big, huge one? Huge one. It was a huge one, huh? She got pregnant in late August 2018. And it was obvious, it was a very exciting time for her and I both. But the news wasn't, wasn't so good for very long. Um, one of the last checkups that we had before he was born, like literally a week before he was born, we were uh, in Los Angeles. And the doctor that said like, everything's gonna be okay, it's not gonna be emergent, literally looked at me and said, he's gonna be stillborn. If he does make it, I think he has some disease and he's only gonna live for three days. Taylor, Taylor as a person 
is an extremely deep feeler. Um, so I, I just trusted her and took her back every time she told me that she felt like that's not true. And he was born uh, six weeks early and we spent just over four months in the NICU trying to get his blood sugars under control. He has a really rare situation where his organs are overgrown, which has created hyperinsulinism. Um, so my wife and I just focused on finding a hospital that could care for him, and it ended up being in Philadelphia. He's ready for milk. You did really good, okay? But guess what? Whoa! Guess what? You need to learn how to whisper. The, the elements with turtle, you go on forever because it was something new every day. I mean, taking a legitimate toddler out into the woods, archery hunting. I think I should make two milk bottles for the morning. I guess we just start trying some weird ideas now, huh? Yeah. What it brought was a strategy that I never knew existed because I've never taken a toddler hunting before. We, we built out a strategy over time of like, okay, we're gonna sit, we're gonna give him goldfish, we're gonna give him suckers, we're gonna give him YouTube when the elk are close so he doesn't talk. Oh no. He had to go poop right as we were on the elk. In the toilet. Like he, he's a kid, he's a toddler, he doesn't understand, you know, we have to sit here uncomfortably for 25 minutes while this bull works in off this group of cows. I mean, bow hunting is all about that last two steps of the animal. And you put a toddler in that situation and it just, it it's just makes it a, an entirely different game. I get very uh, overwhelmed with like wanting to kill a bull and I wanted my wife to kill a bull and I wanted my son to be there. But the whole point of being there was just getting turtle outside for the first time and experiencing wildlife for the first time. Like six months of his life, he never got a breath of fresh air. I know we graduated to the next level out of the NICU. And uh, they put us in this like private room or whatever and it had this window that we would literally sit turtle in front of and uh, we would just dream. <laughs> we would dream about one day, like we're, we're gonna take him hunting. Like we know we'll be able to go outside. But like it was this fucking window. <laughs> that we loved. But we were just so thankful um, that we didn't terminate, that we didn't listen to him, that we didn't give up on him because he completely thrived once he got home.
I'll do it again. Mom, I'll do it again. Mom, I'll do it again. Mom, I'll do it again. It was very blurry, I'm being honest. Like, my vision went blurry. Why it went blurry? Because <laughs> I was shook. Yeah, I may have underestimated the two year old thing. You live and you learn. You live and you learn. I mean, he is having fun, and he, like, Okay, him doing the elk calls in the oh, in it's the great. Beach. Come on, like it's so cute, but it is hard. Oh, no, look at those elk keys. Mm. I carry you, and you can watch Blippi. Yeah. Okay. Okay, come on. Let me bring your milkies, okay? It'll be milky. Yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. I'll be fine. <laughs> Mommy. She's right here. The tricks were running out. Milk was only going so far. It just became too stressful. And I felt like I didn't want it to go bad. We came there to create amazing memories. Um, Turtle was tired. You cold? Yeah, he's cold. I'm gonna go back. I just think when he's like that, he wants me, and I think he thinks I'm an elite. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. I can tell he's not feeling it though, because he like really wants me. The whole idea was just to get him into the mountains and experience mother, mother nature at its purest form, which is elk in the rut. And we had, we had done that and we had a lot of fun and it was an amazing experience for our family. Instead of calling it quits and giving up, because that's not what we do, turtle power. You ready to go have fun with your cousins? We took him back to Las Vegas where I dropped him off with my mom. And her and I would stay up there hunting. And I am very happy she decided to do that for herself because I know how hard that decision was to make. Her dedication to getting it done was pretty incredible. Like that's, I always knew she was a dedicated person, but that's like what really put it in perspective for me. I honestly got like a real, real um, experience at that point and I was like, I'm going to do this. Like, I can do this We're kind of twisted up in a weird setup, but overall it was a very action-packed morning because we had chances. But it just wasn't really lining up properly.
I saw him kind of track away and I saw the arrow angled out of him. And I'm like, man, that doesn't, doesn't make sense that it's that far angled. He must have been quartered. Like the way all the timber sat and the way he sat within that timber, it just didn't look like he was that quartered. You know, we're, we were excited, but in my mind, I'm like, man, I did not like seeing the arrow that far angled out of him. And I, yeah, curiosity made me make a terrible mistake. I had to push up and see if there was a blood trail, see if it was, you know, good blood, bad blood, but it was too soon. I should have never pushed up. Oh. And he was bedded. And last thing you ever want to do is jump a wounded bedded bull. I'm sorry, baby. It was the best feeling ever. And then that high, as high as it was, was just as low. He's gone. There's a better chance than likely he's gone now. I was so against my better judgment. I knew I should have stopped. I was telling myself when I was crossing the creek I should have stopped. But I had to see how far the arrow was in. Was it in deep? Yeah. It's that far in him. The blood trail was minimal. I mean, I, I jumped him out of his bed and I saw exactly where he exited this, this deep timber pocket and kind of made it out to this meadow. I, w I watched him maybe 50 yards run up this hill and get into this meadow. He had the adrenaline to go fast enough and he was bleeding so little that there was just too much gap in trying to find out where he went. All I knew was he hit this meadow and he went left. What are you doing? I guess you really wouldn't understand unless you've been there, like in, in a NICU. Are you practicing? Like you have a lot of highs and lows. And I had this doctor one time tell me, don't get on the NICU roller coaster. Don't do it. Let the ride go by. <laughs> He's like, yeah, if you get good news, cool. Get bad news, cool. Because that high is always going to come back down and you're going to go back up. And I swear it was like the exact same feeling. When the odds are like completely not in your favor, eight yards in front of us on the other side of a tree, it's the bull. The odds of finding that bull had to be 1%, less than 1%. Not only can I not believe it, but now we're like back in the game of trying to find this bull. Like, okay, we have an arrow in him now, blood trail, all this stuff. And of course it's dark one minute after this happens. The whole night Taylor and I are laying in bed and it's like, man, how is this, is, how is this our life? This is the turtle bull. Could this not be any more like what this hunt was about for us in the first place? And just something, something pulls you towards a certain spot and you get lucky, whether it's blood or him, literally. Me and Lorenzo take the hardest path in life. <laughs> it's the hardest path ever. <laughs> and I wouldn't change any of it, any of it, I wouldn't change for the world. And honestly, as hard as this hunt was, and ups and downs and arounds and arounds, I, I wouldn't change this hunt. It was the perfect, absolute perfect oh, first archery hunt I think anyone could have. But I would not feel bad at all. You got your bull. 
Yeah, I, I feel amazing right now. I really do. It's just like crazy. It's almost like it's wild. How it's did so we wild. come up? <laughs> it's it's crazy. It ended up being a perfect experience. As different and wow. hard and challenging as it was, it ended up being perfect for us. And that's turtle. I find no one. Okay. Screams.